I've always enjoyed working with cold water fish. So this is what I like to call a, our homemade environmental chamber. At the Rubenstein Lab in Burlington, biologist Taylor Stewart has constructed this large, cost-effective light chamber to test how changes in sunlight from decreasing ice cover can affect the incubation of Cisco fish eggs. We have the ability to to manipulate the light levels. After these eggs hatched, they are placed into these tubs where he can closely monitor their health. We know very little about sort of the, the mechanisms that, that drive uh, whether or not they're able to, to survive going from uh, the egg stage all the way up to a, the, the adult stage where they're able to reproduce and, and continue to, to put new new individuals back into that population. Stewart's mission is to better understand how a changing climate can impact the life cycle of the fish from the hatchery to release in the wild. While largely unknown to fishermen on Lake Champlain, researchers on the Great Lakes have noted a rapid drop over the last several years in the Cisco population. The decline has stressed the multi-billion dollar fishing industry there. Potentially being able to adjust the, the conditions that those eggs are being incubated in might therefore um, have positive effects on the survival once they're put back into the lake. Lake Champlain is the perfect place to do research on cold water fish because of its size and similarity to the Great Lakes. We call it the mesocosm. Basically, it's the sample size, the small sized Great Lake. It's a trial sized Great Lake, as a colleague of mine calls it. So we can do research here that is then transmissible to the Great Lakes or interpretable to the Great Lakes and really helps them understand things. Stewart's work has launched an international effort with scientists from 13 other countries in Europe and North America. As his colleagues from universities worldwide work on an effective solution, he warns the rapid population decline could have serious consequences. With the potential decline and even extinction of these species, um, you have, you have this loss of a, a major economical value across, across the Great Lakes, Lake Champlain, um, and even worldwide. In Burlington, I'm meteorologist Eric Weglars, NBC5 News.